Maya is not some normal girl as some people might think. Regardless of her social anxiety or ADD or whatever in which there exists more males that likely relate to, she might literally be considered a racial miracle. And that's because of her weirdly mixed ancestry and her luck for inheriting Aryan green eyes despite her being predominantly Asian, aka mongoloid, unlike her adopted sisters, the Kok and Mai Mai, who seem to be more racially pure, quote unquote. We know this because of her parents, who are Surinamese, Belgian, and Chinese Moluccan. And as you know, Maya is not just some other girl from Belgia who moved to the Netherlands, racially speaking, but is technically one of the cutest hybrids in existence. And so, we'll try to use Mendel's laws on his inheritance, which you probably have seen already in high school to try finding an answer for how she inherited these green eyes. And so we'll take a look at who's Mendel exactly, see Maya's high inheritance through a Mendelian framework, and also take a look at modern genetics for green eyes. So Gregor Mendel was born in Österreich in 1822 and specifically in what's now called as the Czech Republic. He was a monk who spent most of his life in a monastery in Brno, but he was also heavily into math, physics, and botany, that he even wanted to be a full-time teacher, but he failed multiple times, so he decided to stay in the monastery life instead, and try out some experiments with pea plants, because they were too easy to grow, and they had distinct traits, and they were just reproduced pretty quickly, and they can even be cross-pollinated if needed, so it's perfect for controlled experiments. And he spent like seven years growing these plants and tracking them and noticed predictable patterns in how the traits were inherited. And so he published his works in 1886, but his stuff were kept ignored until 900 when three guys rediscovered it, quote unquote. And that's how we came with his laws. I'm not going to give an example or explain these things individually because Maya's case would already pay the bills since they pretty much all go the same way. And I don't want to make this a biology class or anything. But anyway, let's assign B for the dominant allele. And by the way, allele really just means a form of the same gene. And that dominant allele is obviously brown. And little b, or lowercase b, for the recessive allele, which is green. We can put these in a Punnett square and see the probability of the potential combinations for Maya. And her green and her eyes would look green only if both alleles were green. Because otherwise, the brown allele will take over and therefore her eyes would be brown. And here is a weird discovery, by the way, which is that if Maya's mom had both brown alleles without any green carrier, and this carrier also is just like a hidden allele, which it might appear in future generations. And so there is a 50% chance you'd have brown eyes, 50% to also have brown eyes with a green carrier, which is just invisible, and 0% chance to have green eyes. And therefore, mom must have some hidden green carrier and thus some sort of possible European ancestry that nobody knows about, or, or, it can be part of a mutation. We've seen some people who had weird phenotypes because of that, but that might be just very, very unlikely, especially since most mutations make things look ugly instead of the other way around. And there are usually generations, like real generations of people that are mutated. I think the Austronesian people do have blonde hair color even though they're like they look like black so that's just an example and that was part of their own mutations that they just inherited through generations or whatever so if each of the parents have b and lowercase b alleles the punnett table would look like this and so as you can see there is only a 25 chance of maya actually inheriting green eyes otherwise they would just be brown so Maya was actually pretty lucky to have these eyes, but that's not everything, since reality is not as simple as this. There, there have been some other inheritance phenomena, which you might have pretty much seen them in high school, like polygenic traits, incomplete dominance, etc., etc. But we can be confident enough to say that this didn't really happen with Maya, since her eyes are perfectly green. 
And yet, there is more. In modern genetics, it's shown that eye color actually involves at least two genes. OCA2, which affects the melanin levels in the iris, and of course, by melanin, you'll remember nipas. Yes, it's that thing that makes everything darker. So, with just a tiny bit of it, you've got blue eyes. And if there is more, you've got green eyes. And if it's even more, then it's brown eyes. And by the way, the reason why they may appear blue or green is ray light scattering. It's just a whole other things in optics that is also the same reason why the sky appeared blue. I'm not going to talk about it since it's just unnecessary and it's going to take a lot of time. And the second gene also is HERC2. Uh, I don't know how it's pronounced, to be honest, which basically regulates OCA2, and they both exist on chromosome 15, and as an analogy, OCA2 and HERC2 are much like water quantity and a tap. And even with this, the genetics behind eye colors are even more and more complex, especially when it's recently found that there are 50 undefined genes revolving eye color, but... Regardless of all of this, you can think of Mendel stuff just as oversimplified, like trying to explain the internet by sending info through two random computers with Bluetooth or something like that. Like, there is obviously still some truth in it, but it's very, very complex in reality. But yeah, that's about it.